Hey, this is Steve Good and Yuri Cataldo, cutting through the noise and misinformation on blockchain and cryptocurrency to tell you what really matters. <laughs> yes, we do. Every single week. Oh my God. Did that work for you? I really like enjoy reading this little script now. It's kind of a nice way to I get like it. Through. Well, I, I mean, like it because it makes me feel like I know you're, what I'm doing here. Yeah, and you're and you're emphasizing different words now, which I like. So you're like you're playing with it. You're getting used to it. It's good. Yeah. I like it. Well, yeah. Thanks. Thank you for writing it. You're, you're, you're very welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't have written it better myself. Exactly. Well, just give it time. Um, <laughs> excellent. So I know before we get into today's topic, how I to wanted get to get more free coins because we love to get, to more get free, coins. free coins. By the way, Everybody. we put up one of the episodes and it just like the views on it went off like really quickly. So that's good. So people want Perfect. free coins. We like it. So. We'll keep going yeah. on this. Yeah, but this is the third one in the, in the installment. I don't think there's much more we can say, but yeah. no, that's before, we before, in, we, before we jump into that, do you have any updates on things you're seeing in the in the markets that you want to talk about today? Well, it's all kind of all over the place. I think. Um, well, so one thing I've noticed is you know people are panicking again because crypto sold off a bit, and there's some worry about where it's going and blah blah. But yeah, you know, there's this expression that they use for. Uh, trading and markets and stuff called sell in May and go away. Mm -hmm. and they, they literally mean go away in the summer. August is the worst trading month. We're in August 2018 right now. It's a terrible month. August is always a terrible month for trading. Everything mm -hmm. sells off. It's normal. So right. I, I'm just, I, I, I've seen too many Augusts in the past where I had shares and watched stuff kind of fall down and I got panicked and like, oh, I should sell it now. And you know what? This is not the time to sell. Never sell in August. Just go away. Come back when everyone goes back to school and everyone gets back from their holidays and their vacations all around the world. And and when the weather's a bit cooler because it's horribly hot and summery this summer in Europe and across the States and Asia, it's about mm -hmm. the worst hot summer ever. So everyone's just like exhausted from the heat and they're panicked. And you know what? Just yeah. relax. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I, can say. I mean, there's nothing, there's nothing we can do. Crypto is going right. to do what crypto does, and people are going to trade it how they want. But, uh, you know, it's been a little bit uncomfortable for sure that it's up and down and all over the place. But, you know, we all want to see it going back up to new heights, and we want to see it moving again. But surely there's more adoption going on globally, so I'm not that concerned about it from that perspective. But, of course, nobody wants to see their pockets look a little bit emptier. That's yeah, why we have to uh, tell you what really matters, which is HODL. That's right. That's right. So what are your, I know we didn't discuss this at all, but the ETFs, I know people are saying that that's part of what happened with the big dip is the, the ETFs in, in yeah, so America. The, the Vingelhoff's ETF that got rejected and then it was days yeah. later that the sell-off took place. I don't think they were linked because if it was, then it would have happened like, you know, within an hour or two, but right. Yeah. The, the SEC is annoying. They just don't, maybe they've got a thing in, a thing, a thing in for the, for the brothers because they're crypto guys and, and you know, they fell out with Mark Zuckerberg and he's become blazingly successful and they are actually quite successful as well with their Gemini exchange and Gemini platform for crypto. But mm -hmm. maybe the SEC just has to think about crypto. I don't know. I mean, it doesn't seem yeah, very yeah. fair, but there were even, there was even a, um, a governor that was uh, dissenting on mm -hmm. the whole decision. So you can see that there's unrest within the SEC when people are publicly dissenting on the decision. Yes. Yeah, so, definitely. No, I it's, think it's, I think it's a matter of time. Yeah, if I recall correctly, I think there's two additional ETFs that are still crypto-based ETFs that are in the pipeline waiting for approval. So, mm -hmm. yeah, let's, let's see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, it's it's not a matter of of if it's going to be just when, and maybe right. it won't be the the Winklevoss version, but there will be some that that go through. There's enough popularity behind it, enough states now. There are governors of different states who are now really coming into place with this. I, I just read recently. I think uh, was it Wyoming? The governor of Wyoming, or is also trying to make Wyoming very crypto friendly, along with Nevada and a lot of other places. So uh, it's going to happen. Contrast to Texas, exactly. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah, well, uh, be, you know, Houston, we got a problem, right? <laughs> <laughs> Someone else has done an ICO here. Quick, let's get him. <laughs> Uh, yeah. So the other, so this not like exciting, exciting news, but still interesting. 
Uh, Nestle announced the other day that they're going to go along with what, what Walmart and IBM and Unilever have done, and they're going to be using blockchain technology to track inventory. But for them specifically, it's around their Gerber baby food. But so, for a supply chain project? Yes, for supply chain. So they, they've called this the food trust. And so now it's going to improve safety standards and track the company. So when they, from, yeah, from all their supply chain, but only with baby food for right well, now. I so. mean, Switzerland, you know, Nestle of all companies probably has learned some lessons from the past where they had some problems with the baby powder years ago yeah. that caused a huge negative impact on their brand. So mm -hmm. for them to do this, it's saying we want to raise a higher standard and maintain the standards we've established after that fiasco years ago. So that's very cool. I like that. Yeah. Yes. And also, who knows? Since they're now announcing blockchain, we'll, we should watch and see if their stock jumps. Speculate, speculate. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It just, so, just so happens with a lot of things. So we'll speculate. Yeah, that's that. really interesting. <laughs> of course, disclaimer, disclaimer, we're not recommending anything here. We're just nope. observing. Observing, we have just noticed that often when companies say blockchain, sometimes their stock jumps and sometimes like, it jumps like, a lot. Like iced tea companies. Like iced tea companies who have nothing to do with it. Yes, and, and their and stock. And after saying it, then of course they got investigated. So they did. Yeah. So, so maybe we'll, we'll see what happens on that one. Right. So okay. should we get to it? Because I know people are dying to know how they can get free coins, and this is probably the <laughs> one of well, I think equally exciting and interesting episode because it's yet another form of crypto mining it is it is so yeah an extension of our mining episode so yes our option three are actually uh, number three of, of how to get free coins so you have a couple of of new ideas on that yeah so the, the, let's, just to do a kind of a quick retracement so you know when you get into mining the whole principle of mining is confirmations of transactions going on in the network so that if i send coins to you they get validated somewhere somehow in a decentralized way through a bunch of computers Mm -hmm. And of course, the, the, the most common or uh, let's say the most popular way is probably still doing proof of work with things like Ethereum and Bitcoin with uh, using GPUs or using ASICs, which is another piece of hardware that are used to validate transactions. But um, things have moved on a bit in crypto land. Um, and there's been another form of uh, confirmation validation going on for a while which we haven't spoken about, but now is a good time to talk about it, called proof of stake. So a proof of stake model is really effectively where I go and buy some coins from a proof of stake uh, project. So instead of being based on mining with the GPUs, I'm buying the coins and I stake or I hold the coins in a wallet. And because they're sitting there and I've put them on the network and declared those to be staked, I'm being paid a reward or a dividend in more of their coins for my coin sitting there, but effectively I'm being paid for validation of transactions on behalf of that vendor. So my PC is literally acting as a transaction on, as a node on their network, okay. effectively. So that's, yeah. the, that's the essence of it. But of course there's two types of transactions that you can validate with. One is a pure proof of stake using a wallet and one is using a, a master node. Mm -hmm. So I'm sure you're dying to know the difference because there are I a few. Am. It is it is a little bit confusing actually. I I mean I, I actually did a little research myself just to make sure I had my story straight because I mean they're so the nuance of it in some respects when you first look at it on at first glance it's like well I put coins in my wallet they're there therefore mm -hmm. I'm staking therefore I get paid end of story and that would probably be somewhat true. Um, so the, 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 the effective, you know, you, you, you buy the coins and then you put them in a wallet um, and then you're being rewarded. So what happens with a master node is a little bit different because with a master node, you're actually saying that you are holding, you for, oh, so, so first of all, with proof of stake, you don't yeah. necessarily have to have a set number of tokens. You can have just random number normally. But okay. with a master node, you have to buy 1,000 coins, or 5,000 coins, an exact number. Okay. And that number is required in order to actually provide uh, the stake and to say that you're running as a master node. You, mm -hmm. There's also a bit more to it than that because you don't just take the wallet. You have to configure the wallet to say, hey, I'm a wallet, uh, which now I put some configuration technical commands in, which declares me, hey, I'm out here now, I'm a master node, and that gives me additional privileges as a master node. 
the, probably the most popular one is voting rights. Mm -hmm. So because, I'm a, because I am now a contributor to the consensus and voting as a masternode, that means that when various things are being supplied out to the community, the masternodes will typically be the ones that get to have the vote on the network about things around you know, how things are gonna transact and certain speeds or the frequencies of transactions or whether a transaction is valid or not. So they get to vote on it. The mm -hmm. people that are staking coins are simply being paid coins for staking their coins. Okay. Um, whereas a master node, you're actually being paid part of the rewards for each block for a verification validation. So it's a slightly different model. So rewards is one part is you get higher number of coins from a master node than you do a proof of stake. Mm -hmm. but, uh, you get voting rights sometimes, whereas with proof of stake you do not. The setup for a master node is more technical. Okay. Uh, command line stuff or whatever. Most of the time, there are a few projects out there like Gincoin, which is like a master node platform for hosting other master nodes, where you okay. literally go on their website and you say, "I want to set up a master node." Okay, they're charging you fifty cents a day to uh, run a master node within their website, and they're literally hosting it for you, and you can choose their coin on their platform or a number of other coins, you can choose which one you want to make a master node out of. Then you go buy the tokens on whichever exchange that they're on, transfer the tokens to your master node, and mm -hmm. once they're there, then it starts the process. Wow. Um, and as that I said, the number, and the number of tokens, go on, sorry. I'm sorry, that process sounds a lot easier than the other ones you were describing. Well, yeah, generally speaking, yeah. I mean, generally speaking, it's pretty easy to set up a proof of stake anyway, because mm -hmm. you just download the wallet, put the coins in there, and you're done. You have to, okay. no matter what, you have to go buy the coins and then deposit them into that wallet. With, with either one, you generally have to leave them running 24-7 as well. So the best way to do that is you have them running on a uh, hosted environment like Amer uh, Amazon or Vulture or one of these other you know, cloud-based environments where it just runs with Windows or whatever. If you're mm -hmm. running out on a Mac, you can do that. It just has to be running 24-7. There's very few projects. I think Neo is one of the projects where... Once you stake the coins, even if you're offline, it's registered the coins is there and you still keep getting the credits for the coins okay. for proof of stake purposes. But of course, for Masternode, you have to be there in order to be part of the network, part of the transaction verification validation process. It's kind of pointless if you're not there because otherwise you can't vote, you can't validate, you can't confirm anything. So that's right. the essence of it. But the thing is, you can get, I mean, I had to do a bit of research on this because this was really fun. So. <laughs> I use Gincoin as an example because it's a master node platform for other Gin, for other platforms. Mm -hmm. And they're getting returns of around 140% per year. So if you're buying the coins and you, okay, so there's a small investment of about between four and $5,000 on the current price of coins, mm -hmm. which you could do with your friends, but you're making between 16 and $20 a day right now. That's good. That just adds up. So yeah. once enough of those coins have accumulated, you can turn around and buy another one mm -hmm. and you keep doubling down. So there is some you know, way to continue to evolve and grow this. And of course, at some point you might want to sell the coins and move to another platform and do it again. Um, Bulwark, uh, B-U-L-W-A-R-K is a similar platform for the same kind of thing. I mean, these are also crypto coin projects that have their own you know, initiatives. They're just, mm -hmm. the, um, we're just focusing on the proof of stake side of what they do in the master. Right. So Bulwark falls in a very, very similar camp, similar price of around four and a half, five K. Okay. Uh, returns of around 130, 140%. And of course, as the coins go up in value over time, of course, you'll make right. more money. As there's more master nodes, you theoretically would make a little bit less money. So okay. there's a little bit of in between on this because, you know, a lot of, there's a lot, as, if there's more transactions, you make more. There's mm -hmm. less transactions, you make less. So there's factors that, go, that, get, that can drive the price and how many coins you're making. Okay. Um, but then, of course, I'm leading up to the most exciting one of the three that I, I, that I, I, I looked through. Mm -hmm. It was crazy. Um, similar, similar kind of space. Price of 4,250. No, I didn't, didn't tell you the name yet. So no. price of 4,250. Mm -hmm. Daily returns of? Uh, daily returns? Yeah. So the other ones were around 16... To twenty dollars a day, right? This is another one, the third one on the list. I will give you a hint. It's okay. in the adult entertainment space, uh, <laughs> and I like it uh, 
there are fewer nodes out there on this one already than others. So of course the returns will be higher. I probably shouldn't right. tell anybody this because now everyone's going to jump in and, <laughs> and the daily value right. will probably drop. But I mean, I have to keep this open and you know, pleasant. So anyway, <laughs> so price 4250 current price today. As I look at this right now, daily okay. return. I'll tell you the name of the project first. Okay. It's called Bitcoin adult. <laughs> yes. That's Bitcoin awesome. Adult. I actually have to check the website out. If my wife knew I was looking at this website, honey, I'm really sorry because I know you <laughs> listen to the episodes, but I had to do my research, but I promise you I didn't watch the videos. <laughs> I had to do my research. What are you doing? I'm looking at research. It's nothing, nothing to well, see here. In order to find out about the project, you have to know how to download the wallet and how to, to like set up a master note. So I had to go to their website, but there's okay. a lot of photos of work in there. Daily returns one thousand one hundred and forty-one dollars a day. Return, what? You put your four thousand dollars in, you'll make your money back in four days. That's that's amazing. You want and to do fifty-fifty with me on this one, and we report yes. back and let people know how we got into this because I think yes, just for, the, for this right now, we're going live. It's on recording. I'm going fifty-fifty in with you to do this, and we're going to test. Point adult. Out. We're gonna we're gonna just for the hell of it, we're gonna do yes. this. We're gonna record the results on this one. It's 3rd of August, 2018. So I'm gonna make a note yeah. of that now, like 3rd of August, 2018. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I want to get on this quicker, yeah. <laughs> we, will, we will report back uh, and track this for some time, just mm -hmm. because it's, it's funny, it's uh, entertaining, and if nothing else, we'll show you guys how to get free coins. And if it's a complete epic failure, well, that's why we're here. <laughs> yeah, that is. Then to please cut donate the noise and misinformation <laughs> to get to the truth of what's I forget what my what's, what did I say? Why do I say it again? The noise yeah. misinformation. Yeah, I forgot. I wrote it. And I forgot uh, <laughs> to tell you what really matters. Well, what really matters is if this thing works. Or not. Right. And then everyone's going to jump in on this. So Bitcoin it, adult, we're coming after you, not because we're coming after you, but because nope. we just want to know if this works. Yuri, I'm sure your girlfriend will be as pleased as my wife to hear this episode and discover we're participating in Bitcoin adults. Totally will. It probably actually she'll probably want to put some money in there too because she'll think it's funny. Well, I, I the only thing I feel bad about for you is you've got two small dogs. So when she says you're in the doghouse, that's going to be a tight squeeze. <laughs> that is. I'm that lucky. Is. I'm lucky on the one end. I have big dogs <laughs> like a Dalmatian and a Labrador, but unfortunately, there's not enough space for me to hop in that cage with them. <laughs> well, actually, there is because they they just love to cuddle me, so they'll yeah, make okay. space, but it won't be comfortable. So Great. let's not get ourselves in the doghouse over Bitcoin adult. But yeah, so we're, and just so we're clear, we're not promoting this. This was just me going through some websites. All of the websites that I found for proof of stake, uh, masternodes, there's about four or five websites. We're going to post them all down in the description below. So you can have a look. There's yep. a huge list of projects out there, but this one just has ridiculously high returns. Uh, it costs about the same as some of the other ones, which seem to be in the more, let's say, appropriate region of a lower price point for a decent return under mm -hmm. 30% a year seem pretty good. Yeah. So comparing that to, you know, 9,000% or 8,000 or whatever it was, I'm just, I plucked out three for comparison, but there's a ton of them <laughs> out there. There are some that make more or some that make a lot less. Yeah. Uh, oh, that's, and that's, that's and, that's and by the way, this is really interesting, but you know, if you had participated in dash a couple of years ago, which is also a proof of stake model, you would have made a lot of money because the proof of stake node right now is around, I think when I last checked, it was around $250,000 to buy one node. Wow. And the returns are like 8%. So at that point, you're just staking for a couple of extra free coins because of the price of Dash, but your yeah. node itself is worth a lot of money. So the node itself being the coins, yeah. some cases can go up in value just by hold, holding for a long time, which is always smart investment advice anyway, is buy and hold. Mm -hmm. day trade. It's just, you know, unless you're a day trader. So if you are, well, call me. <laughs> Put a note down below and tell us that you want to, you know, be in touch and we'll, um, we'll talk. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Well, I'm excited about this. And if it doesn't work out, please donate to our Patreon account, which will be listed below. And yeah. And our ether address is already listed in the, uh, in all of our channel and all of our, mm -hmm. sorry, all of our descriptions in the YouTube channel. And you're right on our Patreon channel. We'll, we'll we'll put all the details out for all these channels that we're on, uh, yeah. thecoinchat.net, which we're going to put live so people can access all of our stuff and wherever we're found. So that makes it cool. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, and with that, I guess we better start getting our, our master node set up, Yuri, because we've got a lot of money to go make or a lot of embarrassment to share. Exactly. Either way, we're going to have a lot of fun. Right on. Well, thank you, everyone, for listening in and watching. It's been an interesting challenge set to us today. To the moon. Until next week.